how to encourage your child. In a school, 50 students participated in a race competition. Every student was so excited because first three winners will get the prize. Every parents, every student was so excited. When all the students came to their position, within a time the race started. All the students ran with their full power. When all the students were going to end the race, those who were first, second, third, their parents were screaming loud, yes you can do it, yes you can do it. And those who were fourth, fifth, sixth students, they were also trying their best. Their parents are trying to motivate them. But when they thought they cannot win, some reduced the speed, some stopped at that pace. The fourth student ran to his father. Father gave a big hug to his son and said, congratulations, you are first. The child got surprised, but father, I came forth. But son, you are first for me. Now say, which ice cream would you like to eat? Then the child said in that time again, but father, I came forth, not first. Then father made him understand more sweetly. See, you came forth, that means remaining 45 behind you. It means that you came first among them. Then child said, the thing is right, but those who came front of me, then father made his son understand more sweetly. Think that your competition was with those students who were behind you, not with those students who were in front of you. The students, those who were in front of you, maybe they have practiced more than you. Son, this time your practice was more than 45 students. Next time your practice should be more than 40 students. Again next time, your practice should be more than all students, you should give more effort, you should do more hard work, you should do more practice. Then, from silence, the child became very happy. He empowers himself more and more. Then father and child gave a lovely hug and went to home happily. So, I want to say that, just think, students, after bringing 70 or 80 percent marks, they get into depression because of the students who brought more than them. And in the world, 95% parents compare their students with the students, those who are in front of them, which affects their mind. But I want to say that, to empower your child, use this technique, you will see a big smile on your child's face. Then that child next time will do more hard work and be more self-motivated. But for that, motivation must be started by you. Your child is how much behind, you should not look for that. You should look for that, how much he is in front from others. Think positively, empower them. When you drive a car, in how much full speed you drive, someone will be in front of you, someone will be behind. But if you watch only your front cars, you will be inside. Because they are in front of you. Today's students, they are in stress, they are in depression. You are teaching them how to achieve their goal. But you should teach them how to make their journey joyful. And these are not my words. It is discovered by the doctors, my doctors, and me myself, I experimented this. How you know? When my parents say that, why you did not bring 100% marks, why the result is bad, how role number one did this, why you could not do this, then I fall in stress. Yeah, what my parents are saying, it is right. I am bad student, I did not do hard work, I did not give my effort. But next exam, I did very bad. After that exam, I know that this was an insect which entered my body, attacked my mind and was biting that. Do you know which insect was that? It was comparison. I told you before, comparing with your own child with another child, which will affect my future also. Then my teacher encouraged me. He said, if you fail this time, so what? You can do it next time. You have the ability to do it. If you try little more, not more, little more, you can do it. Then finally in final exam, I was surprised. I came top 10 in my class. Once they lived two child in a village. Both of them were very best friends. In both of them, one was 6 years old and one was 10. One day, they went little bit far from the village. By playing and playing, the 10 years boy had fallen down in a big hole. He was screaming loudly. Help, help. But far and far, none of the person was there to help them. After some time, his eyes went to a bucket which was tied with a rope. He did not waste his time and threw the bucket into the water and got his friend to hold this bucket. Then with full strength, with full power, he pulled the bucket. He did not stop until he comes up. But finally, 
but he saved his friend. Until here, everything is okay. You understood the story. They hugged each other. They were crying, but they were also afraid too, because if they go to village back, they will be beaten by their parents. But nothing happened how they thought. When they went to home, none of the person believed them, because he had no power to pull a bucket with water and to pull a ten-year boy. It is impossible. But there was an old man who believed them. He was the intelligent person in the village. Everyone said to each other, "He never tells lie. If he is telling, of course there will be a reason." Everyone went to him and said, "We did not understand anything. Now you tell." The old man said, "What should I say? He is telling right. How he threw the bucket, how he pulled the bucket, how he saved his friend. He is telling right. What should I say?" Now everyone looked at the child and said, "Now the question is not how he did it." Now the question is how he could do it, how he became so powerful. Now there is only one answer. In that time, far, far away, no one was there. No one was there to tell him that you can't do this, even though himself. Now what are you thinking? I'm telling you once again. Comparing with others is the biggest and dangerous insect for humans, which can. Affect a mind, which can destroy a mind, and which can destroy a life also. If you don't understand now, also, I have nothing to say. See you next time.